To say that she is defying the odds is an understatement. A Mount Kisco 13-year-old with cerebral palsy is living proof that a disorder doesn't define you. Otis Livingston recently met with her. He's here now with her story. Oh. All right, guys, interesting story. Maurice and Christine, cerebral palsy is one of the most common childhood disorders in the United States. It affects the ability to move and maintain balance. But the young lady I met with is not letting it slow her down. In fact, with the help of her family and her school, she is whizzing past expectations literally. It may not look like much, but what you're seeing is a miracle. 13-year-old Marnie Graves walking with me on the campus of the Master's School in Dobbs Ferry. A miracle because when she was younger, her parents received some devastating news. We had some people say, you know, they don't, they don't think she'll ever run or walk. I mean, that's, that's scary as a parent. Come on, Miss Marnie. Come on. The official diagnosis was Marnie was one of 18 million people in the world with cerebral palsy. It would be an uphill battle, but the Graves were up to the challenge. Nice job, honey. My wife and I decided to prove everybody wrong, you know, and we, we put her into dance class even though she was on the floor. Uh, we put her in swim class even though she sank. We put her in Taekwondo even though she couldn't punch or kick. My dad is one of the biggest support people that I have. He was there when I was down. He was there helping me learn how to walk. I got, you know, catchers knee pads like literally knee pads to protect my knees and I used I used to uh, walk on my knees up and down the streets of Brooklyn holding her hips and teaching her the motion of walking because you know it was it was the only thing that we could we could do. Marnie feels right at home at the master's school where she is admired. She's the epitome of the school's mission statement which includes being a power for good in the world and its motto to do it with thy might. What Marnie shows all of us is not to let any disability get in the way of leading a normal life. She lives it every day for us. I think that's pretty extraordinary. What's your message? My message is always believe in yourself. There might be challenges throughout the way, but there's always ways to overcome it and be successful. And that includes out on the go-kart track. That's right, the girl who wasn't expected to walk or run is whizzing around the track up to 50 miles an hour. Turns out it's a beneficial form of exercise for CP. You have to kind of really go because like there's quick turns because you're going super, super fast. It really helps my body for like quick movements, which is really good for me because it like triggers my brain. Marnie's inspiration comes from another motorsports racer with the disorder. Nicholas Hamilton is the brother of seven time Formula One world champion Lewis Hamilton, and he races on the British Touring Car Championship driving a specially adapted car. Marnie makes it look easy, but according to her coach Danny Stevens, it's not without its challenges because of Marnie's physical limitation on her right side. Instead of pushing with the right arm for those left-handers, we're pulling with the left. She's come a long way with that because even with that technical disadvantage, I see no difference really with the other children. And Marnie beats her typical bodied opponents, but that's racing with children. What about me? I mean, I've been driving cars for nearly 40 years. You got this. We'll see. <laughs> now I'm going a little faster, okay? I'm about to get past. No! Oh! <laughs> you bumped me. So how does it feel to be wrapped? I am literally eating your dust. <laughs> when you think your child might not walk or run, and then you see her racing around a track at 50 miles per hour proves that if you put your mind to it, I think anything's possible. And yes, she lapped me twice. <laughs> Marnie is not only raising awareness for cerebral palsy, she's also raising funds for research and disability innovation. To date, she's raised $75,000 and her goal is to raise $500,000 before she graduates high school. Remember, she's 13 years old. There's no doubt in my mind that she will do it. For more information on how you can help Marnie reach her goals, go to our website, cbsnewyork.com. We'll have more on her story as well on that website. Mind-boggling, relentless determination. What a family. Has so much confidence, man, in the right. school, the master school, they have the environment that she's in, they all embrace her and treat her like she's a superhero yeah, on right. campus. I mean, I was there that day and people were just coming up to her, talking to her and, you know, just having a good time. So, um, yeah, she's an inspiration. And dad. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. Impressive family. You're right. Truly. I hope yeah. somebody from Formula One sees the story. Oh, yeah. Lewis Gets Hamilton. To go out. Yeah. Yeah, that's on, my, on our story on the website. Yeah. Very right. good. Yeah. Very Thank nice. you, Otis.